Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're taking a look at Fightcade, one of the best ways to play retro games online. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you're looking to play some retro games in an online multiplayer setting, and you're a big fan of arcade games, Super Nintendo, Sega Dreamcast, and even Sega Naomi, you might want to check out Fightcade. Now, Fightcade does specialize in fighting games, but it also works with a bunch of other games on those systems. Fightcade is 100% free. To download it, head on over to fightcade.com. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. At the time of filming, it's not available on the Raspberry Pi. That's a bit of a bummer. Hopefully, we'll see it in the future, but I wouldn't really hold my breath. Once you're on this website, download it for your system of choice. So for this video, I'll be clicking on Windows 10 and the size of this file is 208 megabytes. While it's downloading, go to the top of the page here and click register. You'll need to create an account in order to sign in and play online. And fortunately, registration is 100% free as well. When Fightcade finishes downloading, open up the installer and the very first question it's gonna ask you is, do you want to install Fightcade? The answer to this one might be yes. Next up, specify where you want Fightcade installed. There are two things to remember here. One, we will need to access this directory later. So remember where it is. And number two, if you have every single game that Fightcade offers, you'll need about 50 gigs of space. At some point during the installation, at least on Windows, it will ask you to install Microsoft DirectX, and I highly recommend choosing yes. Once everything's done installing, you should have a lovely folder that looks something like this. The next step is to add your games in. If you have games ready to go, just open up the ROMs folder here and dump in your ROMs for the corresponding systems. For example, Super Nintendo will go in the SNES 9X ROMs folder. Uh, Dreamcast will go in the Flycast folder, and arcade ROMs can go in the FB Neo folder. Now, one of the biggest sources of frustration for Fightcade is what ROMs does it support? There are tons of different arcade ROMs out there. There's a very good list over on archive.org that you can cross-reference just to see if what you have will work with the emulators. Once your ROMs are in the proper folders, the next step is to actually open up Fightcade. What we'll want to do here is open up Fightcade 2. That's the most recent version, and that's what we're talking about in this entire video. You can feel free to add a shortcut to your desktop or whatever you want to reference it later, but Fightcade 2 is what to open. Once Fightcade 2 is up and running, enter your login credentials that we created earlier on and hit connect. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this. The next step is to click the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner, and this will bring up the entire games list. Now, these next steps might be a little bit confusing. The way Fightcade 2 works is kind of similar to Discord. So these are all lobbies. You can join the lobby, play with different people, or play on your own. Clicking on a game here won't actually launch the game, and you can only join three lobbies at the same time. So let's go through all of this in a few details here. Right now, these games are sorted by popularity. We can see King of Fighters 2002 has 411 players currently playing. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has 379 players. King of Fighters 98 has 362 people in the lobby and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo has 182 people. So what I'm going to do here is let's just join the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo lobby and see what happens. I'll click the join button. It brings up the game on the top left hand corner of the screen. I'll click on here and it brings me into the lobby. In this lobby, there's a ton of different information. I can take a look at replays. I can take a look at rankings because yes, there are rankings in lobbies. I can take a look at different events and I can take a look at my own profile on Fightcade. It'll let me know when I joined Fightcade, what games I like to play and how long I played them. In the center here is the main channel chat. You can chat with individual people. You can chat with the entire group if you want. On the right hand side, these are where the players are located. So you can see the player name. You can see the connection indicator. So it lets you know how strong the connection is, if it's a good connection or if it's a bad connection. And you can also see player rankings here. To challenge someone, all you have to do is just double click on their name. Additionally here, you can right click on anyone's name. You can click challenge if you want. You can look at their profile and you can even ignore them if they're bothering you. Now, before you go on ahead and challenge someone, I do recommend clicking on test game in the top right hand corner. From here, you can make sure your game actually works. You can set your controls, make sure your controls are mapped properly. And you can also play in single player if you just want to play the game. Once you click test game, it should bring up the game you're trying to play. If the game doesn't launch, it might mean you don't have the correct version of the ROM or you don't have all of the necessary files. So you might need to do some double checking. Once the game is booted up, go on ahead into input here and click map game inputs. 
And from there, just make sure all of your inputs are mapped correctly. Now let's say I'm done playing Street Fighter 2 Turbo and I wanna play something else now. I'll click on that search icon again, bring up the lobby menu, and select a different game. I can search for one in here if I want to. For example, if I wanted to play Mario Kart, I can search for that lobby and I can see three people are currently playing. Or I can just select one from this drop down menu based on popularity. So for this video, I'm just gonna select Street Fighter Third Strike, add that lobby to the side menu here and then join it. And from here, I'll do the same steps. Click test game, make sure everything works, set my controls, and then challenge someone. When I'm done playing Third Strike, and let's say I wanna play something else now, I'll go back into the search icon here, select another game to join the lobby of. That'll put it in the left-hand side here, and I can join that lobby and play this game too. Now, if I wanna play another game, I will have to leave a lobby. The maximum number is three. So you can see I have three on the left-hand side. As soon as I try to join any other game, it says can't join this channel, maximum amount of concurrent channels reached. So I will have to leave a channel. Now leaving a channel really isn't a big deal. You can rejoin it at any time. To leave a channel, just highlight the game that you wanna leave and then click on the red button right beside that channel. Each channel will have a little red button by it and that will just kick you out of the channel. Again, you can just rejoin it at any time. Once you leave the channel, it'll give you the option to join another game. So you can go on ahead and join one. Now, a couple of things to note about these lobbies. There's a lot of great resources usually pinned to the top of them. You can make some friends here. There are some great people and there are also some not so great people. So just be careful when you're looking at chat. One of the last things I wanna talk about Fightcade here, if you take a look on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see my Mr. Sujano cartoon logo. This is something I've added, and you can add your own avatars here, but they aren't the easiest thing to do. To add your own avatar and just click on the settings button on the bottom left-hand corner and then navigate to the top where it says click to change on Gravatar. Being honest with you here, I'm not the biggest fan of Gravatar and I don't think it's worth the time it takes to set up an avatar just to link to your Fightcade profile. If you click create a Gravatar, you do have to sign up with a WordPress account, log in and try to do things that way. And that's why if you take a look at the right hand side of the screen here, most people in this lobby haven't changed their avatars because it's not really worth the time it takes. At the end of the day here, if you're looking to play some arcade games online in either a co-op or versus fashion with friends or random people, then Fightcade might be the way to go. I absolutely love this program. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Fightcade in the comments below. And if you play a specific game on Fightcade, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.